together And everything between us is good I'm right in this cloud, baby Ready to fly, but before I take another step Would you catch me? Corner Squad, this your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Yes, I'm still in my bed. Yes, I have not, no, I have not gotten up yet. I am watching my TV right here on the wall. So, I'm just going to be in my bed for a minute, doing some videos, putting, you know, putting together some videos for y'all. So just sit back, relax, and just enjoy the videos, y'all. Y'all know y'all want to see these videos in my bed. Come on now. Stop playing. Anyway, the purpose of my video is because I want to talk about dating and being disabled. Dating and being disabled. Okay. What is it like? How is it? How is it done? When is it done? Why is it done? Okay. Okay. Dating and disabled, date okay, dating and being disabled ain't easy. I'm tired of people telling me, Well, Shaquan, dating ain't easy for nobody. Uh, look, I ain't look, I ain't everybody. I ain't everybody. It's extra hard for me. Okay, because I am disabled. I cannot walk. I cannot drive. When I go out on a date, there are places I cannot go because it's not wheelchair accessible. So it's extra hard for me. So I hate when people say that to me. I can't stand that when people say it's hard for Everybody today, look. But anyway, I digress. Come on back. Come on back, Shaquan. Y'all, excuse me. But anyway, the reason it is hard for me to date, because you have guys. I'm not talking, I'm just talking about guys, because I'm, I'm, I'm obviously a girl. Okay. It's hard because you have guys out here that... Don't want to date a female that's in the wheelchair. Um, you got guys that are so mean that, that they only care about what other people think. Um, you got guys that will date us, but only date us because it's a fetish for them to see if we are desperate enough to fall for anything that they say. And... We can't trust every man that goes out with us or asks us out. Because a lot of guys only ask us out. A, 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 lot, a lot of guys, not for real. Uh, you got certain guys out here that will only ask a, 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 a disabled female out is to see if they can get us in the bed. Okay? To see if we so dumb enough and desperate enough to, to get in bed with them. Okay? Um, and, and to make fun of us. Just to bring us around their friends to get picked on. Yes, it happens to us, y'all. We get picked out and singled out just so the guy can take us out amongst his friends, amongst his family. Don't tell no, don't, don't and look, this crazy point now, you ready? They take us out. Have not told their family, have not told their friends that I'm in a wheelchair. So, they wanted to get a reaction out of being with me to see what, what people would say to, to them about me. Sometimes people don't say it in front of me. They say it behind my back, but I end up hearing about it later on. Yeah. That's why it is so freaking hard to date out here because you don't know the intentions of a guy. And I don't care how long you talk to them on the phone. Sometimes it goes well and sometimes it don't. 
so I'm just gonna tell you. Sometimes it goes well, and sometimes it don't. And I don't care how long you talk to somebody, you still finding out something different about somebody. They show you something different about them every day, every time you talk to them. And half the time you talk to folks, they don't remember what the hell they told you two days, three days, four days, five weeks ago. So, yeah, I have to really, for real, for real, when I talk to somebody, when I'm getting to know a dude, y'all, I will talk to that dude for a freaking month and a half. Maybe two. Because I ain't stupid. I have to know where his head at. I have to know what his intentions are. And I go so far as to talk to some of his friends, some of his family, just to see, okay, what he has told his family and his friends. And I keep on asking questions, and I keep on asking questions until I am comfortable with hanging out with somebody. I have to be extra careful because let me tell you something. It ain't cool. It it, it just it is hard to date. But I do have a guy friend. We are we are, we are trying to for real see if we can have a relationship. I I I I have feelings for this guy, so we're trying to see where it goes. I'm 38. He's 39. He's gonna be 40. I'm gonna be 39 next year. But anyway, that's my goofiness coming out. But yeah, it's hard to date somebody that's in a wheelchair. Is 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 hard. It's not easy. I mean, it's 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 just it's. Ooh. I have to be extra extra careful. I have to make sure. I have to make sure, y'all, that I am getting myself in a great situation. Because I don't ever want to put myself in a situation where I would date a guy and he tries to take advantage of me. Okay. I have to make sure that his intentions towards me are pure and good. Because if they're not pure and they're not good, I'm in trouble. Because my biggest fear in life is, is to go out with a guy and he rapes me. That's my biggest fear in the world. Okay? So I have to make sure that when I go out with somebody have to make sure that I know everything I must know because I don't I don't live I don't I don't stay at my house I, I, I refuse to be a hermit I refuse to let, let let this fear control my life but at the same time I must make sure that whoever I go out with is okay with going out with me. Is not doing it for a bet. Is not doing it because they have a fetish. Is not doing it because they they they, they just want to have a couple of laughs and a couple of chuckles at my expense. I don't want to be the butt of anybody's jokes cuz it don't feel good. So that's how come I say it's harder for a disabled person to date. Any disabled person is hard for us to date. I have a friend right now. She has the same thing I have, which is spina bifida, but she has cerebral palsy as well. So it's hard for her to date. Okay. It's hard for her to date. So yeah. It's not easy. It's not fun being an investigator. 
when you're trying to get to know somebody. The process is not fun because sometimes it can be fun and sometimes it's not. Because when I'm starting to feel like I'm an investigator, trying to really for real see what's what with this guy, the process of getting to know that guy is not fun. I, me getting to know a guy is supposed to be fun to me. And when it starts to not being fun, I don't, yeah, I just don't, I, I just cut it off and just, you know, leave it alone. But that's the gist of what's this, what, what it's like dating and disabled. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And if you made it to the end of this video, put dating and disabled in the comment section. And comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Let's have a conversation. Um, let's get to know each other. And I hope that y'all enjoy this video, like I said. Um, and like I always say at the end of all my videos, have fun playing with your nails. If you wear nails or if you're going your own, have fun playing with your makeup. If you wear makeup or if you're learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life. Because God only gives you one. Mwah!